So forestry program uh, in Amarillo, Texas is uh, English and algebra and government classes. And then I moved up here to go to school and um, this is where my dad's people are from, uh, up in Missoula, and we have a place on Flathead Lake, and so this is where I have spent every summer of my life. And um, I feel so lucky to be tied to this uh, place. Thanks, I'm so jealous of you guys that get to live here year round. I just, I have to say, uh, in my next life, I will come back as a Montana native. Um, but for now, I will come up as often as I can. Uh, I wrote this at my mom's kitchen table. It was that first Christmas uh, coming home after I'd lived away from my folks for a semester. And uh, I don't know if you guys can remember um, that first taste of independence that you get and then you go back and you're still your parents' kid and they're still your parents. And and uh, I think my mom said something like, you know, I, we've been home on Christmas break and I think she said something like, well, what, you were out kind of late last night, honey, and, and I was just like, oh, how dare you? I'm an adult now, I have a meal plan and everything, you know? The only plan I had was a meal plan and, uh, that they were paying for, I'm sure. And so I wrote these lyrics, and at the time I was going to college, kind of, and I was uh, playing at open mics, uh, but you know, I maybe had a dozen songs that I had written, and uh, I furiously scribbled this, these lyrics out on a notebook, and then I went back up to, so I felt better, because um, that was how all of my writing started, was just to feel better. And, um, and so I went back up to school, and a couple weeks later, I got a care package in the mail from my mom, and uh, there was a, you know, a, a ponytail holders and guitar picks, and some very nice ice blue eyeshadow that went out sometime in 1992 uh, um, that had come back around and a notebook with these lyrics in it. And um, so I put some music to it and, uh, um, and then it had a very kind of cool path to get where it got. And we were, I was in a band and we were working with a producer named Lloyd Maines. We lived in Amarillo, Texas. The band was out of Amarillo, Texas. and. Uh, um, he lived in Lubbock, Texas, which is 100 miles straight south. And when I say straight south, um, there's the shortest interstate in the country is I-27, and it goes between Amarillo and Lubbock. It's called Amarillo Highway. And uh, you can drive it with your knees. You could shave your legs while driving this road. It is so flat and so straight. I have not, I'm not going to say I've done that, but I'm just saying I know for a fact that it's possible. I, I've actually done that. <laughs> You've done that? Yeah. You know, if anybody on this stage, even, I might have not guessed you. Uh, <laughs> me? <Yeah. laughs> You're the one I'm looking at. <laughs> so. <laughs> Only up to here. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. Just to wear your, your capri pants cut off. <laughs> you know, you just don't have to shave up that far. So, uh, I wear cowboy boots, so I just shave from here up, you know. Oh, but that's attractive. Uh, yeah, it's nice. It's, Oh, well, Susan, my blues name is Susan Harry Ankles. <laughs> um, but as you were saying. But, <laughs> wow, I've songs. never really given up that piece of information about myself before. Voluntarily, it usually has to be tortured out of me. Quit, you're making okay. me hot. <laughs> I can see the plastic sheeting behind you is starting to fog. And so I'll go ahead and get to it. But. Uh, Lloyd happened to be the father of a gal named Natalie Maines who had just started singing with the band called the Dixie Chicks. And um, they were looking for songs for a, a record that they were going to put out. And um, this is one that we had put on uh, the record with the, of the, the band that I was in. And uh, so they brought this one with them when they got their uh, record deal with Sony Records. And uh, I'm, I'm so, I, I was so lucky, you guys, because I, I really had no, I did not know at that time that all the people that I heard, you know, singing on the radio, that most of them didn't write those songs. I just thought that's the, I just thought that's why Martina McBride got to be Martina McBride is because she wrote those great songs and she sang the hell out of them and, and, you know, probably booked the gigs and drove the bus. That's how, that's, that was the life I knew. And so... 
um, anyway, they uh, they started playing this song when they were touring uh, before they got their record deal, and it's one that they brought with them. It did not go through the proper channels, I don't think, and um, and that's fine by me. I remember uh, we were playing a gig in Lubbock, and this was Natalie's um, bachelorette party the first time that she got married, and these three girls walked in. We had not met them uh, before, and um, but we knew we knew when we saw these three cutie pies walk in uh, Kyle's 88 Key Cafe in Lubbock, Texas, uh, that that's who that was, and this was before they got their deal, and they uh, they asked if they could put this song on their next rec on their record that they were putting out and uh, you know I I I'm so glad that I was so speechless um, that I just uh-huh and the guy that was the other writer in the band said you know what Susan um, they could sell like 50,000 copies of that record and we couldn't imagine it because we were selling you know we were making our records mixtapes you know, 10 at a time CDs out of the back of the car. and um, So they sold a lot of records with this song. They named the record uh, after this song that I wrote about coming back and forth between Amarillo, Texas, that place where the sky goes all the way down to the ground, and Missoula, Montana, that place where the ground goes all the way up to the sky. So this is called Wide Open Spaces. Yeah. This is your one opportunity to sing along with me. Find a dream and a life of their own. A place in the clouds, a foundation of stone. Many precede and many will follow. A young girl's dreams no longer hollow. It takes the shape of a place out west. What it holds for her, she hasn't yet. Traveled this road as a child Wide-eyed and grinning, she never tired But now she won't be coming back with the rest If these are life's lessons, she'll take this She packs her things, she feels she left something out. Her friends, her family, her dog in this house. She turns around, find her old room there. Looks at the U-Haul. Check the oil. That's how they say they love ya. Mom stares out the window. She says, I'm leaving my girl. She said it did not seem like that long ago. When she stood there and watched her own folks go, go. she needed wide open spaces. Room to make her big money. She knows the high stakes, she knows the high stakes, she knows the high stakes. 
goes behind.